What's good guys, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys an early look at the upcoming Nike Air Max 1 sketch to shelf. First off, I want to give a huge, huge thank you over to Nike Toronto for sending me over this pair. These are set to drop this coming Saturday, July 13th for a retail price of $150 US dollars or $195 here in Canada. So the official colorway for this shoe is University Red and White. Paying homage to Tinker Hatfield's original sketches of the Air Max 1 back in the 80s, this shoe essentially is a sketch come to life. So if you're a fan of the Air Max 1, you've probably seen those iconic renderings from Tinker Hatfield that went on to eventually become the actual Air Max 1. So personally, I find that this concept of sketch to shelf is super dope and being a huge Air Max 1 fan, I was super, super excited to get this pair from Nike Toronto. So jumping straight into the sneaker, first off, the build of this shoe is very similar to the Air Max 1 anniversary that dropped a couple years back. If you guys take a closer look at the toe box, so this is the same mesh that was done on the anniversary pair, so it almost has this vertical weave-like pattern. Wrapping around the edge of the toe box, replacing your traditional red suede mudguard. In this case, we have a white mudguard, which has the appearance that it's been colored in by a hand in red. In addition to that, we have what appears like handwritten notes that are printed on the mudguard as well. So combining the text with this colored in appearance, Nike did a really good job in making the shoe look like it was an actual sketch. You might also notice on your traditional Air Max 1, on the lateral side of the toe box, we have this panel right here, which extends downwards onto the sides of the shoe. But in the case for this pair, this is left empty. So honestly, it gives it sort of an empty look. But again, they're paying homage to the original sketch, which didn't have that panel. On the quarter panels of the shoe though, once again, we have that white suede and they simulate the colored in look again, this time with a beige or gray color. Overlaid on top of this, on both sides of the shoe, we have this Nike swoosh, which is colored in in red. Around the back heel, you'll see there's more of that text. And then on the left foot, we have the Nike Air branding embroidered in red. And then on the right foot, we have Tinker Hatfield's signature. In terms of laces, so these come standard with flat white laces. And unfortunately, they don't give you a secondary lace option. Underneath the laces though, the tongue on this pair is done in the same way that the anniversary Air Max ones were done in. So if you see the middle of the tongue has this rougher texture, but then the sides of the tongue is done in a much more smooth and shiny, almost nylon-like material. At the very top, replacing your traditional Nike Air Max tag, here we have this Nike tag that almost looks like it's drawn in. So the inner liner of these Air Max ones also has a bit of a silky feel to it, and then printed on the lateral side, you'll see we have the words sketch, property of Nike, not for resale. Again, this is playing up that whole sketch concept of this sneaker. Pulling out the insoles, we have a very bold, university red colored insole. Replacing your traditional Nike Air branding, on the heel we have the Nike swoosh branding that again looks like it's drawn in. So the upper of these Air Max ones sits atop this white colored polyurethane foam midsole. Underneath the heel we have this cutaway that exposes the air bubble found within the midsole. On the lateral side we have these 10 black dots which are painted on. And then on the medial side above the air bubble we have this Air Max sketch branding. Flipping these guys over to the bottom, so here we have the outsole, which in my opinion is probably one of the most interesting parts about this shoe. So the outsole also plays up the whole sketch concept of the sneaker. So they do this by utilizing a translucent rubber outsole, and then having the sketch illustration found underneath. So moving on, if you guys are wondering how these fit, I feel like this pair runs very similarly to the Air Max 1 Anniversary, specifically the first run. So my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and Nike Toronto sent me these in a 10.5. So normally I am a size 10.5 in most of my Nike Air Max 1s. However, one of the few exceptions where I should have went true to size was this anniversary pair right here. So both the initial drop, not the restock pairs, of this university red and the blue pair, I felt like they ran a little bit bigger than your standard Air Max 1, and I can say the same thing about this pair as well. So if you have the chance, I would probably recommend sticking true to size with this pair. To me, it ran perfectly fine from a width perspective, but from a length perspective, there was just a little bit extra room than I would have liked. In terms of comfort on this shoe, so this feels exactly like all my other Air Max 1s. It's gonna feel very firm on foot, and it's gonna be nothing groundbreaking, but it's gonna be all right for just everyday casual use. Last but not least, in terms of the quality on the sneaker, I feel like it was pretty good. It was nothing amazing, and I definitely wasn't blown away, but the suede quality was okay, and my pair had no issues with paint, with glue stains or with any loose stitching.
So with all that being said, now let me lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. As I said from the start, personally, I really, really love this whole concept of this sketch come to life. Being a big fan of the Air Max One and specifically the original University Red Pair, seeing this shoe being done in such a unique way really, really caught my eye. So I'm curious to know what you guys think of this Air Max One sketch to shelf. Is this a concept that you guys are messing with or it's something that you're gonna pass on? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8 check out my Twitter at Sean.go and visit my website at SeanGo.ca. Before I end this video, I want to give one final thank you over to Nike Toronto. Thank you fam so much for looking out and I really, really appreciate it. So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in my next video.